Ladies and gentlemen, what a match, what a performance. Todd Zilla getting it done here at East versus West 9. And we move on with the card and into our core main event of the evening. Ladies and gentlemen, this match will take place here at East versus West 9 in the men's super heavyweight division. It is on the right arm and will be contested between Georgia and Russia. Let's introduce you to our athletes. The first of them hails from Russia. He is a multiple and reigning Russian national champion, multiple EAF European champion, and a multiple WAF champion of the world. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Vitaly Lalaitin. Vitaly Lalaitin, the big Russian tallest arm wrestler we probably have, um, hand crushing ability, world class, definitely best in the arm wrestling world, um, but he's going up against someone with another extremely strong hand, so uh, this is going to be an exciting one. His opponent, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the biggest men on tonight's card, a true super heavyweight from the land of monsters in Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, this man is a multiple Georgian national champion, European champion and world arm wrestling champion. Welcome now, making his way to the table, Rivas Latunze. Ravis Latunze. He's almost getting as big as Levon Stagnosophilia. Um, some say he's uh, almost in the same, same realm, so uh, very impressive against uh, his last opponent, Dave Chafee. Um, look for that exploding hand top roller. Uh, top roll. Uh, can he pull it off against the tall length arm of Vitaly Leighton? Can you feel the tension in the room? John Brazain, super heavyweight showdown. And the level is off the scale here at East versus West Nine. Who do you have, Neil? So tough. I'm going to go with Laletin. Nothing surprises me tonight. I've called a couple wrong already. and. Ravaz was so impressive against Dave Chafee. That exploding hand top roll, if he, if he can maintain the cup. Look, look for, look for the massive top row from, uh, from Ravaz. Ravaz Lutidze, Georgia, red shirt. Vitaly should be able to get the high ground if he wants it. Looks like he's allowing Ravaz to maintain equal index finger position. Look at the size. Vitaly, they'll let him. Russia's finest right now, many would argue, 132 kilograms of him, and six foot nine in height. Does Vitaly have the strongest hand in arm wrestling? Maybe in the world of just hand strength, right? Unbelievably powerful, for sure, but so we're going to find out exactly how strong it is in a moment, because Vaz Lutidze. Oh, look at how far his palm is Georgia. Look at the width of yeah. Lutidze's hand, and he's going to try and top roll right through. Can he no, no, do no, no, what he no, did no, to no, Dave Chafee? He, looks, he looks so comfortable. Vitaly is so exposed. His hand is so low. Loves to it's, it's leave his there, it's there for the It's there for the taking. You feel like knuckles high. Oh, man. I wish I could, I could set up with Vitaly like that. <laughs> He's prepared to sacrifice arm for that low hand top roll. Try to post and carve out. Straight. Surely looking for the straps, but what a great oh, position Rob has had. Oh my goodness. My word. He is so Zizzi. calm. I'd be calm. He's, he's not loading up. My, he had the best position in his dreams. He probably didn't so, see So there's no back pressure. He's not loading. He's as calm as a cucumber. But with that hand position. Here oh, we go. Uh -oh. Both men did move there, but it looked like Rivas really coiled the lower. 
There's a little upward Don't pressure, oh, pressure whoa, from whoa, Lalay. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Low it's it's going to be all about to start. Oh, okay, this, this, one first, one this, is, <laughs> this first start is ridiculous. We're going to learn so much here. If Rivas Lutzidza can light up yeah. Vitaly Laletin like he did there, Chafee. This is all about reflex, Neil. This is no power being applied. I can see neither one of these guys are loading. Don't move. Go! On the way. Strap. No surprise. Now, Laletin wasn't happy there. He, he, you could see that he mentioned straight away to... Uh, Christo, that the hand position he felt was was wrong. It's it was low, but I, he he's he was happy with it. He didn't argue it. Now the interesting thing is that the form guide would suggest that for the counter top roller of the caliber, the Vitali Lelettin, that the strap would do him favors and give him a much yeah, better anchor point to hang on to that pronator. He's counting arm length, and if if Rabaz is doing that Cobra style dumped hand top oh, yeah. roll. Uh, yeah, just to keep the high ground, keep those knuckles high. I mean, uh, we know Vitaly's got that posting top roll. Let Ravaz just roll underneath him. Ravaz has to commit with a little bit of a cup to, to bring that, that arm angle down if Vitaly elects to, 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 to post. And I really believe but he's not doing it right now. <laughs> no, but I, I really believe that um, Lutidze is probably aware of the fact that the, the counter top roll, that B side top roll is exactly where... Lelettin wants this match to go. He'd love to hang out the wrist of Rivas Lutidze and get that wrist out of the match. Let's listen in as the... Oh, no. It's okay now. So high. So high. Ladies and gentlemen, we are underway and Lutidze goes to the side hard and he's really got a great position in this match. That is not at all where Vitaly Lelettin wanted to be. Lutidze with a fantastic advantage here. Vitaly Lelettin sacrificed his hand and wrist. He's hanging on to his pronation, but you wonder who's gassing most Ra Ra here. Rabez oh, is working harder. His hand, his hand is working harder, Neil. Yes, yes, yes. And <laughs> he's, doing, what, he's doing all the hanging on. Just saying there, you wonder who's working hardest yeah. because the hand was exposed. Yeah. No, and no, Ravaz was maintaining that cup, and that's a big strain on the forearm. And the more concerning thing is there that once it gives like that, you can access it's, it's, it. It's hard to get it back. Yes, in it two is. minutes. Yes, sir. <laughs> and uh, you can see he felt yeah, that one. There's some stress. Yes. And the the good news at this stage that if there was no real elastic limit reach there from. Vitali, that he probably feels pretty confident yeah. that he can get that again no. now. No, he was just hanging there. That's his no, game. No stress on the hand. That's just his game. So much height, so much leverage, such a great pronator. I mean, Devon known for the pronation. So is this guy. Mm -hmm. and he'll leave his, ha his arm hanging there, let you attack it with an understanding. What have we got there? Because th surely that wasn't, what was that given? Why are these guys being given this amount of rest? I don't know if that was a, a, a match that was called or... I, I don't understand why it's taken this long to get him back up there. Right. I didn't think we had... No, we're just going to strap. Right. Rivas Lutidza was taking up my final resting form there. <laughs> he called it a night. Here we go. Strap being applied. Rivas Lutidze. What was the call? I, I forgot the, even what the call was. It an elbow call? Why did they stop the match? The call, I think, was an elbow, elbow. on. Yeah. Rabaz? Was on, on, on Rabaz. Rabaz. Oh, oh, as yeah. he was getting beat. Yeah. <coughs> as Vitelli was coming. Got a jail, got out of jail free card there, yeah. though, mate, because yeah. that that hand and wrist had just about busted and not gonna work on the next uh, no. East versus West. So now, no, no. what has Rivas got to offer now? Can he change it up? Will he change it up? He had such incredible position. He had the high ground. He had the knuckles way higher. When, uh, when the match started, you thought it was over. It, it need, like, oh. it need, well, in my opinion, he needs more back pressure and quit trying to cup so much because that's blowing his forearm up. Thumbs down. Here we go. This down is, come this, the thumbs. This is way more equal if Vitelli goes with this. We're going to learn a lot about how much the hand and wrist of Lutizza was taxed there again. Vitali happy to hang on. Pronator stay with it. Much better from Vitali. Much better from Vitali. Gets a great position now. And Lutidze is on the defensive. Now this watch, is what... Watch for the shoulder roll. This is watch what we Watch for the Ravaz's shoulder. He's got a He's going to commit it. 
Here it comes. Now, you can see mentally that he's going he's through the game. About it. Yeah. Yeah. He's thinking about it. He's waiting. patiently waiting, Neil. Trying to time it, as is his opponent. Laletin doesn't want to sell too hard. He liked to put that burn in there. He's going to get access to that hand and wrist all night now, John. Right. But look at the position Rivas Lutidze is in. He's way outside his shoulder. That is a horrible spot to be in. Now, the other risk factor here for Vitaly Laletin is that if he hangs oh. on that ball, that's what he wanted. Oh, whoa, 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 what have no, we got there? Great, great no, win for Laletin. And you know the good news for Laletin? He didn't expend too much energy there. Yeah. No. He never allowed his arm to get in an angle where, where Ravas could commit to that shoulder roll. Um, actually moved his elbow forward, which is the correct move. Um, yeah. Good arm wrestling there, Neil. Now, mate, do, do you see, I mean, it's hard to see a way back in because Vitaly Laletin is so tall. What, if, you're gonna, if you're in Lutidze's corner there, what are you going to say to him? Look at the position All he's right. got. What would you say to him there? Well, I would say maybe commit to the, the uh, flop wrist press off the go. I mean, you're, you're going to probably get a lot better angle than if you let it go to this point. So uh, it just depends on the, f the form of uh, Ravez's uh, hand and wrist. If his form is just pumped up to the point where it's, it's not going to be useful at all, then, then you gotta, you got to commit to the shoulder roll. A little bit of afters there from uh, Rivas, and no need really at all because there was nothing wrong yeah, there. Just you a know, little, just little frustration. celebration, yeah. The worrying thing for Team Georgia right now is that the man who worked harder there on the shoulder, on the pec, on the arm in its entirety was Rivas Lutidze, and there's no chance he's getting that hand and wrist back. I don't think so either. Yeah. So I think, like you said, I mean, what does he do? Just dive on it with a shot? He's, he's kind of got to do his desperation mode. That's what I would think. That's, in my opinion, the only move that's left. Look at the absolute fatigue on the letting. He is really blowing there. Oh, really he, breathing I don't see hard. no veins there, Neil. He's very smooth. He, I think he's in, in great shape here. Either there's something he, going on below, <laughs> below the camera line that we can't see, or that guy's tired. Right. Well, let's in. Great dream start, really, for Vitaly Lalatin. Yeah. He, he got access to the hand and wrist. When we were sort of scenario planning earlier on and we were talking on the live, we, 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 we were saying that the expectation was that Vitaly Lalatin would be able to expose the hand and wrist with that pistol grip, low hand top roll, leave the pronation out there and just bust open hand and wrist. But the question was, did Rivas Lutidze have the ability to gut it out there with his wrist flat or broken back? Or, or just have the cupping ability to have that explosive, uh, exploding hand top roll. And, and he somewhat did have it, but In it one, got yeah. stuck, yeah. yeah. Both men breathing super heavy. Seen uh, some great arm wrestling tonight, but in terms of the form guide, where you would have expected that match to go, we're exactly where what we thought would happen. Mm -hmm. Letting the superior. Oh, oh my the word! Hand, Massive the, hit. The hand is gone. Hand yeah, you're correct. The hand is gone. So now, wow, wow. I'll tell you what, got a statement made uh, by Vitaly yeah. Laletin. You've got to figure that the winner of this match will be in the future of either. The Gladiator. Really Mr. Devin Laret. Yes, yeah. Mr. Devin Laret. One of those guys. Probably gonna Ravez isn't completely out of this yet, though. I mean, he needs to watch a few Jerry Cataret movie or uh, YouTube videos, and um, he, he, could, he could possibly get his way back in here. He's definitely got the upper, upper arm strength and size to... The hand and wrist is destroyed. I think there may even be some damage in there. I mean, the way he was looking there, it was like he damaged his hand and wrist. And he's he's going to need the strap to be able to pull that. Oh, yeah, collapse there. It's gone. Absolute collapse. And the, the, these guys went to the red line, but they're built for drag cars. They're not built to last distance at this size, this weight. But Vitaly Laletin, what an absolute weapon that guy is. Such a long lever, such a... Tremendous pronate. Oh, they it's over. It's uh, over. Is it, it is over. I don't ah. believe it. Rivas Lutidze clearly damaged maybe yeah. the hand. Yeah. I'm sure we'll get more from real eye pins in the post match, but 
remarkable. Yeah. Must have been some damage sustained there. What a statement made. Congratulations, Vitaly Lelayton. Vitaly Lelayton. In the um, mix for a shot at the world title. Lelayton has always been that guy, mate. He's always been that guy. Here we go. I am here with your winner, Vitaly Lelayton. Revas. Revas couldn't compete. He's injured. We hope it's nothing too serious. Everyone, most people predicted this to be 50-50. And first round looked 50-50. How did it feel in first round? Я так скажу, что в первом раунде выглядело все 49 на 51. Кто говорит 50 на 50, тот, я думаю, больше всех угадал. Если победа 60 на 40, она выглядит иначе. Она выглядит, по крайней мере, как во втором поединке. He said, uh, first round was definitely 51, 49 percent. It wasn't 60 to 40. Uh, and then after the first round, it was very easy. Uh, was endurance, you have great endurance. Did you bleed him out and you felt afterwards you just can dominate? Well, I've always been like this. I didn't take a good position. Я изначально взял плохую позицию, а потом выяснилось, что я смог с этой позиции плохой залезть в хорошую. И тогда у Ризо был фол. А во втором поединке нам пришлось с ним потрудиться. So he said, после фола, точнее, после фола. Uh, he said uh, he didn't get a good position, he got a very bad position, but he, he worked from that position to get a much better position, and that's how he always arm muscles. Uh, the second round was very easy. Многие, кто не знают, а кто-то многие знают, in 2015, I stayed 10 minutes. A lot of people don't know, but I, in 2015, I had a 10-minute match just like that. You are right now most likely the top number one contender for the winner of Hermes and Devon. Do you, exp you, you want to? Who is the king and bring them down? Do you want to win Devon and Hermes? Do you want to win Devon and Hermes? Well, if you have time, you I'll definitely prepare and I'll definitely win at least one of them. Vitaly Lietin.